Hi, I'm Alexi, audio director on Tinykin. In our last video, we talked about the storylines and characters you'll meet in the world of Tinykin. Today, let's talk about sound and music. Tinykin is a game about being small and getting very close to things we all know. You have walked on carpets, had showers, and picked up cardboard. So, it's a great opportunity to make something that feels very familiar. Milo can step on everything in this big world. So, each material needs to have its own audio feedback. Not only that, but each environment in the house has unique acoustics. So, standing inside a TV will feel as huge as it does to an ant. We are also going the extra mile with music in Tiny King. Every room of the house has its own musical theme, and each one has many instrumental variations according to your position in that huge space. As Milo explores the living room, you'll hear the living room theme. But when he enters inside the piano to save a lost ant, the music will seamlessly blend to the piano variation of the living room. And inside the guitar, the guitar living room theme. Even the church has its own version. Each room has more than five musical variations to help them feel like full living societies. Last but not least, voices. Milo's abilities are represented by living creatures named the Tiny Kin. They each have slightly different personalities, so they have to sound unique. Same goes for the NPCs. Silverfish and dung beetles are very different people in this world. So, they need to have voices that represent their identities. I managed to record and perform every voices in the game so far. That's a very funny way to make them alive. We are still working hard on Tiny King, so stay tuned for our next videos.